Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to Real Reviews with SOC. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys my very first piece of Star Wars merchandise. Now do me a favor, before we move forward, make sure you guys smash the like button, click that subscribe button, and also click that notification bell so you can be alerted every time I come out with a new video. And also stick to the end of this video because at the end, I'm gonna give you a little bit of brief background history about this character and what this piece of merch represents. Okay, now, how did I even come to obtain this? Let me tell you a little bit about the story. So I remember I was walk, I was not walking, I was scrolling around YouTube and I was trying to figure out what is it that I want to get for my background. I wanted something that reflected my love for film, but also matched my aesthetic. You know, my favorite colors are red and black. Well, I finally came across this piece of merch and I was like, you know what, that's the piece. So I went ahead, showed my wife, asked her, you know, what do you think about it? You think it'll look good in the background? Of course, my wife says, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, you know, you don't need anything else in your background. Your background looks nice. Keep it clean. Don't worry about adding this. And I'm like, are you kidding me? This is the perfect piece. And then she said, okay, you know, I, don't, I, I just don't think you need it. So, you know, I went back. I was like, ah, well, maybe I don't need it. My background is fine. Maybe it'll be too much. But anyway, a few days go by and then I hear a knock at the door. And my wife is like, you got, there's a package down there. So I go down because she orders packages. So I didn't think anything of it. So I grab the box, bring it upstairs and boom, she actually got the perfect piece of merchandise for me. She actually got what I showed her. And so I was extremely happy. So without further ado, let me show you guys what she got me. And again, remember red and black aesthetic. I don't know. I really love this piece. You guys let me know what you think. Here we go. She got me the Captain Cardinal helmet. And now if you guys are like me and you had no idea who Captain Cardinal was, don't worry. This is why I said at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little bit of background, brief background history as to who he is. But let's get right into the unboxing, shall we? All right. So now, hey, listen, what was your first piece of actual Star Wars merch? Put it in the comment section below. Also, make sure you guys give a huge shout out to my wife for getting me my first piece of Star Wars merch. She did it in celebration of Real Review Season 2. So if you guys like movie reviews, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But let's get into this unboxing, right? So got the box. The box is pretty cool. Got the red and black, right? So let me pull this out. Uh, it comes with your, your standard manuals. But let's go ahead and unbox this thing. All right, so has the plastic, which I love. Okay, and there it is. This is the Captain Cardinal helmet. I'm a huge fan. I don't know, what do you guys think? I love the red and black aesthetic and I love the helmet, I think it's really dope. So a little bit about the helmet itself. Um, I remember I went on, when I was scrolling online looking at the videos, I saw that a lot of people had the white version of the Star Wars helmet and said that the battery pack is the one thing they wish they could change because it was obvious in the back. Well, with this version, which is a target only version, they actually had the battery pack on the inside. So I'm gonna show you guys where it's located. So I'm gonna break this apart right here. There we go. So this is the red piece that goes underneath. And then there is the actual uh, battery pack. Now, this takes three AA batteries. Now on the Target website, it says three AAA. So Target, if you guys are watching this, make sure you change the uh, description box because it says three AAA instead of three AA. So again, make sure you guys get three AA batteries for this. And this activates the, uh, the voice changer for it. And also, if you guys take a look on the inside, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it because it's all black, really cool. Um, but there's a strap on the inside that wraps around the back of your head and keeps your face in, in position. So that way, when you're in the helmet, it's not wobbling around like crazy. So anyway, that's that piece. And let me just snap this right back. Okay. All right, so let me put on this helmet and show you guys how it looks on. And here we go. So of course, the SOC colors, the red and black, right? Captain Cardinal, again, make sure you guys stick to the end of this video because I'm gonna give you a little bit of history about who this character is. But there we go, it's very comfortable. Uh, let, so let me tell you how it feels on the inside. It's hot, <laughs> um, but it's really cool. It's, it's not uncomfortable. My face is pressed up against this rubber piece, right? And so also the uh, the glasses or the, uh, the um, I guess the lens, right? It's, it's cool, you can see out very good. Like I can see my hand. You know, you have a good peripheral vision here, uh, but also when you when you wear the helmet and you're moving your head up and down the lens, because it has this curvature to it, 
actually has like this wavy pattern when you're looking up and down, but it's not too distracting. Um, also, I do love this metal piece here. Now, if you guys, listen, I'm a brand new guy when it comes to Star Wars. This, to me, I think this is the in air intake, right? So that's what I'm going with. And it's made, it feels like it's made of hard plastic, but it looks like it's metal. So that's cool. The helmet is not really heavy. Um, it's pretty light, but it's also got some weight to it. Um, very comfortable to wear. Okay, so the voice changer, right? That's probably what you guys are waiting for. There's one button on the right side here that actually um, activates the voice changer with one press. And you guys tell me in the comments how this sounds. The one thing I do like about the voice changer is that when you stop talking for about a second or so, it does this air intake sound effect. So let me show you guys what that sounds like. There you go. And so it happens every time. Like I don't have to hit any extra buttons or anything like that, right? So here it goes again. So it's pretty cool. So that's really cool. So on the right hand side, that's how you deactivate it. One button. Oh, let me find it. There we go. And done. And I'm back to sounding to my normal self. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Does it look really cool? Do you like the red and black? I don't know. I love it. I think it's really cool. And it's going to make a very cool display piece on my background. So let me get this off. Oh, here we go. I can breathe again. So anyway, <laughs> hopefully you guys like this. Um, you could probably see the red marks under my eyes from where it was pressing. You get used to it. It's not that big of a deal, but it's a really cool Star Wars piece. And I think you guys will like it again. Red and black, my favorite colors. I'm in love. Do me a favor. Again, give my wife a huge shout out in the comment section and tell her how cool of a wife she is for getting me my first piece of Star Wars merch. Now, as a kid, I liked Star Wars, but I wasn't a huge fan, so I didn't have all the toys. I'm becoming a bigger fan now as an adult, and I'm starting to get the memorabilia that I think is really cool. So this is my first piece. So just like I promised, I'm gonna give you, now give you guys a little bit of history as to who this character is, Captain Cardinal. Stay tuned. Archex was born and spent his early life on Jakku. At some point in his childhood, his mother died, leaving him to survive on his own with other orphans of the desolate planet. Near the end of the Battle of Jakku, Archex and several other orphans were invited by Imperial General Brendel Hux to come with the Imperials into the unknown regions. Archex agreed, wanting to leave behind the cruelty of Jakku. He was inducted into the Stormtrooper Cadet Program and given the name CD-0922. CD-0922 was one of the first of the new stormtroopers of what would later become the First Order, having been taught by Hux that the New Republic was disorderly and corrupt, and that only the First Order could bring peace and order to the galaxy. Here is a peek into Captain Cardinal's character. I was his personal guard. He handpicked me on Jakku, trained me himself. I was infinitely loyal. From the time I first put on this armor, he trusted me to keep him safe. He designed it himself, because he said red was a color of power. Every moment he spent in my company, he knew he was safe. A loyal adherent of the tenants of the First Order, CD-0922 eventually became a captain and was put in charge of Stormtrooper physical training. Stationed on the finalizer, he served with distinction as both the lead Stormtrooper trainer as well as Hux's personal guard. CD-0922 was presented with a personalized set of red Stormtrooper armor and given the name Cardinal by Hux. Roughly a year after Cardinal was presented with his personalized armor, Hux conducted a scouting mission to the planet Parnassus. While surveying the planet, Hux's ship was shot down by an automated weapon system and crashed on the planet. With the help of the members of the local Skyr tribe, including Phasma, Hux was able to find his ship and make contact with the First Order. Hux returned to the finalizer with Phasma in tow, along with a young girl from Parnassus named Frey. Phasma wore a set of dirty, ill-fitting Stormtrooper armor. Cardinal was instructed to familiarize Phasma with the finalizer, First Order technology, and her duties as a Stormtrooper. His role as head trainer was to be split with Phasma, who would focus on training the teenage and adult stormtroopers, and he would be transferred to the Absolution. Hux would also get a new personal guard, allowing Cardinal to focus on the expanding stormtrooper training program. These changes upset Cardinal, who was suspicious of Phasma and jealous of her close relationship to Hux, his father figure. This jealousy increased a year later, 
when Phasma received her own personalized armor. Soon after, Hux died of a mysterious illness and his son, Armitage, took his place as head of the First Order Infantry. And that is a brief introduction to who Captain Cardinal is. Now if you want to find out more about this character, please be sure to click the link in the description box below where the story continues. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, God bless.